Today we're going to be fighting 64 withers, as you can tell, in Minecraft. And I'm going to show you different ways to kill the wither. So let's get to the first one. So, the first technique is to dig 10 blocks down, dig a trench sort of thing, like you're going for like strip mining for diamonds. And basically what you need to do now is, let me just put some materials on my hotbar. So, what you need to do now is put the wither here. And then the skull's on top. And what should happen is it should track me and stop blowing out this layer and this layer at a time so you get some stone and stone or whatever you are like dimension wise and there we see easy to kill the wither you get withered a little bit sometimes it doesn't get you and after you board him you can use your sword smite 5 i recommend with what's it called uh strength 2 now i can hit it with a sword and what you can do now is just hit him, step back, hit him, step back, hit him, step back. And there we are. We got the one star. I'm just going to eat an apple. There you are. That's the first technique to easily kill one of the withers. The next one is pretty simple. Once you've fought the ender dragon, you get this portal in the middle of your island. It should be zero, zero coordinates. So what you can do is come under the portal and dig three layers out and exactly where this is, make this platform. And what this allows you to do, because it will spawn right here and this is the exact center where the wither gets trapped. So once we spawn a wither, this is what will happen. There we are. So it's stuck in the water, the water, the bedrock. Um, okay, just turn everything down. Uh, and we can easily just kill it. It will be suffocating in the bedrock. And then we could just jump crit it all the time. There we are. And again. And that's our second star. So basically, this is how you set it up. It's at the very corner to corner, and it's like a small T. And you just put the soul sand on top, and then you basically jump attack it with a smite 5. You can use strength 2 to, you know, kill it even faster. The next step is basically the first one, just with iron golems. So you want to place iron golem there. There, just bam this room with iron golems basically. So there we are, we have 16, 16 iron golems. Now, the blast might kill them, but if you want a quick way of getting river roses, this is the way forward. So, we spawn the wither and all the iron golems go towards it. And if it manages to kill all of them, I'll just quickly kill them. Doubt it though. See? Look how much damage the iron golems are doing towards the wither. It's dead. It, it's dead. And the wither's uh, ability to give the effect will kill the iron golems eventually. So I just need to get that star now. <laughs> the next one has to do with the never. Now, if your uh, bedrock is like a plus... So if this one was removed and this one re was removed, you could have it here. We still can. So this block, this block, this block, this block we can use. So where I'm standing on now, this one here has to be obsidian. And these two here will have to be obsidian as well. Oh, I'll be back when I pick this up. Took me like five seconds anyways. So we put that there. So what this is going to do is let's place down the soul sand and I'll show you. So we're going to get some more room. There we are. So what's going to happen is when we spawn it, it's going to 
it's going to land here, which is really good for us. So let me show you. It's better to show you than to just explain it. There we are. So it's basically stuck in the bedrock as it is. I'm just going to stand back here. Wait till it explodes. And this is another technique to kill in the wither. And it's very straightforward. All you need to find is a plus. And there you are. It's stuck in the bedrock. Can't get you. It's also suffocating and blowing blocks around you. So you could just have a obsidian cage. And there we are. We've got another... Uh, what do you call them? Never star. We've got another never star. There's multiple ways of killing the wither. You could just have a bunch of endermen in a small area, just attacking them constantly. So when we do that, we can get a bunch of wither roses, and that's basically how a wither farm is. So the wither kills the endermen, drops the wither roses, since their XP isn't that much once they take fall damage. So what I'm going to do now is kill the rest of these and do it in time lapse.
So we're now at the base and I'm going to craft up a stack of beacons, which I've never done in my life. So where's the beacons at? There it is. 64 beacons. Like, like, I just can't. I just can't even. Oh, my inventory's back. Yeah, I just can't even anymore. And basically, I sell beacons for 14 diamonds each. And if I got my ender chest, get my shulker box out. That's how much diamonds I've made from just selling with the skeletons and beacons. Now, people probably wonder how how I got with the skeleton skulls and stuff like that. Well, I've been using a wither farm, with a skeleton farm. And this is how many wither skeletons I've killed. And I've still got a stack in whatever's in that shulker box, as well as 99 withers being killed. So yeah, that's that. So that's going to wrap it up. I hope you enjoyed watching me kill 64 withers. Actually, I killed 65 because I lost a, a never star. I don't know where it went, but I went back to the locations and I just couldn't find it. So I had no idea where it was. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next one. See ya. Say